Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Please forgive me. Hello, come in. Come in. I can see you have an eye for high quality pottery. Hello, friends. Look, Lassen, I'm sorry to dump this turd on you, but I've been waiting six months for this transfer, and I'm not about to don my cape just because Alanda made an asshole decision. What is he thinking, keeping Strandberg under his protection? Anyway, in case of a security breach, all VIPs rendezvous at the underground garage and take emergency tunnel B to a shop downtown where they'll remain until escort arrives. Any questions? Thank you, Lass. And stay safe out there, okay?
mister. Hey, got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. General Zayden won. Pay for the whole city with these things? Hey, don't they say? The bigger the line, the more people will believe. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? They won't look too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. Fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain to? <laughs> um, us? Look, if they do find out, you and me are the far bottom of a very long range. I'm worried less about Crystal Dawn and more about the guy who pays our wages. Ah, yes. Yeah. Hanged as a traitor. What? Give me the damn posters, will ya? It'll Done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. You do wedding invitations? No? Okay. Oh, those people they have no idea what's about to happen. Don't think about it. Just do the job. Some yeah, soldiers you back to school. Something? I've heard them talking. They have fake Crystal Dawn headgear and old Afghan rifles, and they were planning to shoot at the protesters. You know, to get things rolling. Jesus. Like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not in it. It's a shitty outlook, man. We are part of this. You, me, right here, right now. Yeah. Why don't you chain yourself to the printing press when we get back? I'm sure that'll thwart Zayden's evil scheme. Me? I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. It's Keep this so shit up, and somebody right? will. Ah, you have impeccable taste. Let's... Straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. Boys, this encourages Moroccan citizens Greetings, to Mr. rise Brand up Man. and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. He's coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear that he close, so what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the police that he got killed when the first attacks on the first prison prison. So he had got close to him. Less than stellar. Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what do you do, prisoner? Uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man's a traitor. Attention, everyone! You men have done a that fine job. That is General so Reza Zaydan. Crystal Dawn are on everyone's lips. Here, right? That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running.
to work. Yeah, why don't you go print something? You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Not my scene tonight, no siree.
Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Compromised, but I, I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. And still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But his plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> the money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 